The past decade has seen significant technological advancement on a global scale. Elon Musk recently inserted Neuralink based on BCI technology in the human brain. Everyone's trying VR headsets and living in the virtual and real world simultaneously. Alexa is controlling most of your home tasks, and AI and machine learning are enabling autonomous vehicles to drive themselves. But that's just a trailer. Future inventions are even more evolving. This is the record-breaking fusion reactor at the Jet Fusion Lab in Oxford, where the final experiment of nuclear fusion power was performed. After over six decades of continuous experiments, scientists have made significant progress towards achieving nearly limitless clean energy. This achievement stands as one of the most remarkable scientific accomplishments of the 21st century. Marking a huge achievement, for years, scientists have been curious about the potential of nuclear fusion, an abundant and clean energy source that has the power to transform our global energy landscape. This experiment of the Jet Fusion Lab in Oxford generated 69 megajoules of energy for 5 seconds, equivalent to heating up to 5 hot baths. This output has tripled the amount produced during a previous experiment in 1997. This process will work on the fusion reaction that is happening in the sun and stars from years. In this reaction, two light nuclei atoms are brought together and combined forcefully. In the result, the breakdown of their atomic structure and producing a huge amount of energy and heavier nuclei. This is the opposite reaction of fission, which is already being used in nuclear power plants. But the problem is, it also produces radioactive pollutants that stay radiating for a long time. So, obviously, they are very dangerous. In a fusion reaction, we can produce more energy, with small and short-time active radioactive pollutants as compared to a fission reaction. For now, scientists are experimenting with hydrogen atoms. And it requires around 100 billion times atmospheric pressure and temperatures in the range of 100 million degrees Celsius to make plasma for the fusion to be started. That's even hotter than the sun's core. However, researchers are constantly exploring new methods that might achieve fusion at lower temperatures and pressures. While the fusion reaction is incredible, it's also complex and costly. Scientists are working hard to make it practical to generate electricity. So, we may be using this electricity in the next few years. Well, organ transplantation is a real thing and saves many lives. It's been over 70 years since the first successful organ transplant, which was a kidney. Now, according to the data report of the United Network for Organ Sharing in 2022, more than 42,800 organs were transplanted in the US. You can imagine how much we need organs to save human lives, but it's really hard for donors and recipients. Cost, pain, infection, transplant rejection, and much more. Now, think about human organs generated by 3D printing. Yes, it's going to happen. 3D printing for human tissue, known as bioprinting, involves using bio-ink, a mixture of hydrogels, living cells, and growth-promoting chemicals, to create three-dimensional structures. But this all starts from the human stem cells, so the body doesn't reject this kind of transplantation. In the extrusion-based bioprinting process, bio-ink is loaded into a chamber and pushed through a small nozzle, attached to a print head. Guided by computer instructions, the nozzle deposits thin filaments of bio-ink layer by layer. Building the desired structure, support structures may be used to stabilize the bio-ink until it solidifies. Once printed, the living cells in the bio-ink start behaving like natural tissue cells, communicating, exchanging nutrients, and multiplying. Despite challenges like potential cell damage during printing and the need for blood vessel integration for adequate oxygen and nutrient supply, researchers have achieved significant milestones. Recently, we noticed a 3D printed nose grown on the arm of a French woman and a 3D printed ear transplanted to a girl made up of her own cells. This technology can enhance the human lifespan because scientists are even trying to print vital organs like the heart, kidney, liver, and more. Imagine you're having a smartphone, but with no screen. Imran Chaudhry and his wife Bethany Bongiorno founded a company Humane that produced screenless AI pen. The Humane AI pin was officially announced on November 9, 2023, with sales starting a week later on November 16, 2023. The AI screenless pin is a cool device that helps you in many ways without needing a screen or lots of buttons. 
You can wear the device on your shirt or jacket, and it helps you almost in each task. You can ask the pin to remember your schedule, make lists, take notes, find information on the web, and even use ChatGPT. It's like having a super smart notepad. You can use it to send messages, make phone calls, and even ask it to remember messages for you. The pin can take photos, record videos, play music, and even help you find songs or artists you like. It can scan, track your nutrition, recommend hotels based on your preferences, and even help you shop online. A pin can translate over 50 languages, making it easy to communicate with people from different parts of the world. It can connect to other devices like Bluetooth headsets, speakers, and cars, making it versatile and compatible with your existing gadgets. The vision behind this device is to create a personal computer that you can carry with you everywhere and minimize the screen effects. It can be controlled with your voice or by using hand gestures from the laser display projected onto your palm. Imran Chaudhry and his wife are claiming this device is the future of smartphones as they are making it better and better. So maybe, within a few years, we'll see this device taking over smartphones. The sea level is rising by a ratio of 0.12 to 0.14 inches per year and by the year 2050, it's predicted that it can rise to 10 to 12 inches high. Our planet is warming up due to global warming which is raising the sea level by melting the glaciers. So we are at risk of our most iconic coastal cities being submerged in water. Here, the concept of underwater city seems a solution. In the 1960s, architect Jacques Cousteau championed the idea of underwater living through his Aquanaut programs. Before it, we see this concept in scientific fiction stories. But now, there is a need to make this concept practical. Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology developed the first visionary concept for a deep-sea future city, Ocean Spiral. It is designed to push the boundaries of sustainable human habitation beneath the ocean surface. At its core, Ocean Spiral envisions a spiraling structure extending 500 meters deep into the ocean. Utilizing the vast resources and energy potential of the ocean environment, one of the key aspects of Ocean Spiral is its focus on self-sufficiency. The city would harness deep-sea geothermal energy and ocean thermal energy conversion to meet its power needs, minimizing environmental impact while ensuring long-term sustainability. Additionally, the city's design incorporates advanced technologies for seawater desalination, enabling the production of fresh water for residents and agriculture. Underwater cities would feature residential areas with housing units, amenities, and infrastructure to support daily living activities such as cooking, bathing, and recreation. Essential services such as healthcare, education, shopping, and entertainment would be available within the underwater cities, providing a comprehensive living experience. Now, we need scientists, engineers, and architects to look after each aspect of the project to turn this concept into reality and make it a perfect habitat for human life. If this concept works in the future, we'll probably see some iconic cities like Savannah, New Orleans, Georgetown, Bangkok, Kolkata, Ho Chi Minh City, Venice, Basra, and Amsterdam under the water. This is the lamb fetus developed inside an artificial womb in a 2017 research at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Worldwide records for 2022 showed that a baby dies every 40 seconds because of complications of prematurity. That's why an artificial womb will be a solution to save these lives. The artificial womb technology works by replicating the natural environment of a mother's womb to support the growth and development of a fetus outside the body. The process typically begins with traditional in vitro fertilization IVF techniques where eggs are retrieved from a woman's ovaries and fertilized with sperm in a laboratory setting to create an embryo. Instead of implanting this embryo into the woman's uterus, it is transferred to an artificial womb or ectogenesis chamber. This chamber is designed to mimic the conditions of a real womb, providing the embryo with the necessary nutrients, chemicals, and support for healthy growth. Inside the artificial womb, the embryo is surrounded by synthetic amniotic fluid, which helps to cushion and protect it as it develops. An artificial placenta is used to regulate the exchange of oxygen, nutrients, and waste products between the embryo and the external environment. This system typically involves catheters that act as umbilical cords, 
with one catheter supplying oxygen and nourishment to the developing fetus while the other removes waste products. This invention is still in the experimental phase. This is a solution for premature babies and couples struggling with infertility. Moreover, UN Global estimated that each year 303,000 women die during delivery and it's a painful process for a mother. So maybe we see the use of this artificial womb in the future to eliminate the need for a woman to carry a pregnancy entirely within her body. These interventions are more likely to change the world in upcoming years. Which one excites you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content like this. And are these inventors really geniuses or just overhyped? Let's first check out Elon Musk here.